If you want to work at a faster rate, then you might want to use keyboard shortcuts. Let's say for example, this is a sample recording audio. And if I want to cut and paste it, I can select out portion of this audio, press Ctrl X on my keyboard to cut it and go around over here and press Ctrl V to paste that out. So instead of going towards a particular tool, you can simply use shortcut keys. And to know what shortcut keys are there for you to use, you can go around into uh, any of the menu part right here. And if there are shortcut keys assigned to a particular item like zoom in, you can see that control plus one is the zoom in shortcut key right here. So I can go around right here and I can press control one on my keyboard to zoom in right here. Control two to fit everything right here according to what I have right here. You can go around into uh, tracks and so forth, but you can see that not all of them have a shortcut key assigned to them. So if you want to assign a shortcut key or change the shortcut key or find out what particular shortcut key is there for a particular tool, you can go around into edit and you can go to preferences right here. And once you go to preferences, you can go to keyboard right here and you can see the keys right here as you can see. So over here, you can see previous clip is alt plus comma right here and next clip is alt plus period right here. And similarly, you can go around and assign a shortcut key. You can go around right here and then you can go around uh, just like this uh, and you can set a shortcut key over here as well. So you can press multiple keys right here, set it out. And what happens is that as long as uh, that that shortcut key is free. I'm just going to go around and press something else. So just gonna go around. Uh, I'm going to press Control Alt Shift and C right here. Set it out, and what happens is that now shortcut key is set for that. Similarly, you can change out the shortcut key, uh, key as well, or click on default uh, full right here, and what happens is that the shortcut key is reset onto its default settings. And that is how you can work around with keyboard shortcuts inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.